Today is July 2nd, 2011. This is a litter of F1B second generation Labradoodle puppies. This is Law Padoodle Kennel in Lost Creek, West Virginia. Our website is www.lawpdoodle, kennel, K-E-N-N-E-L.com. If you would like to pay us a visit and see the uh, individual pictures of each one of these puppies. This is a litter of 10 puppies, five girls and five boys. Um, they were born uh, uh, on May 31st, 2011. Their mommy is Sissy, pictured on our website. Their daddy is Jack. Uh, Dad is an AKC registered standard poodle. He is a beautiful party, silver and white brindle party. And mom, of course, is our first generation chocolate labradoodle. She is party factored. We have pedigrees on file for both parents and genetic testing as well on both parents. Um, we have a 26 month genetic guarantee that we give with each one of our puppies. And if you are interested, certainly get a hold of us. Our email is on our website. It is also lpdk10608 at gmail.com. You can also call us at 304-745-5878 if you would like to talk to us about one of these wonderful puppies. Again, we have five girls and five boys. I'm going to introduce you to them individually. Uh, this little knucklehead right now is, uh, this one is Breezy. She's one of our beautiful chocolates. Now, because of the party gene, there's a very good chance that some of our chocolates in this litter may fade to a beautiful cafe au lait, or what we call coffee with triple cream. Um, their ears and tail and uh, toes or, or base of their legs may remain a little bit dark, which gives them a really, really nice uh, definition to their color pattern as they mature. Um, these are little to no shed, allergy friendly puppies since they are second generation. And their coats do differ. And uh, I'll show them to you as I introduce them to you each individually. Again, that one is Breezy. She's wanting to be sure that you know who she is. Okay, this beautiful boy right here with the dark blue collar is the uh, one that we call Radar. He's one of our beautiful, soft, silky, fleecy boys. And uh, as you can see, he's black. And as he stands up and plays with me, you see he's got a gorgeous white abstract. I think almost all of these puppies have an abstract of some sort or another. Again, that's the party gene. We only did get one party in this litter. Now she has already spoken for. That's our Rainy right there. And the other girl that is spoken for definitely is <laughs> right down here upside down. She's actually going to stay with us. Um, this is our beautiful, beautiful little girl, Miss Gemma. And uh, she's got a smoother coat, which is fine with me. It's uh, all still non-shed. And I just like her because she's a gorgeous sable. She's a dark in color. I've got a very strong black jean as well as the brown jean and with her markings such as on her toes and on her chest I've got a real strong party jean. Um, we're going to raise her up and in a couple of years we might have puppies with her with our gorgeous party factored uh, multi-gen. He is photoed, yes he is pictured on our website on our parents page. He's the one we call Charlie Brown. And he's still maturing. He's not, has not been a pop-up yet. He's uh, still growing up, but probably in a few months we may have our first litter with him. We've got some girls we're raising up. As a matter of fact, that brings up a point. This is our last F1B litter for some time. Uh, we have retired a couple of our girls to permanent, wonderful, forever homes. I have wonderful testimonies on those dogs um, in their new homes. And uh, we will, we've got a couple of girls that we're raising up that still won't be ready for a few more months or towards the end of the year, maybe the first of next year, um, that are first generation party factor to be bred to our party boys. So um, please keep an eye on our website if you are interested in any of our future litters. Now we do think that we are expecting our very first litter of multi-gen fully party litter. Um, that will be in a couple of months. Once again, once we're able to confirm that pregnancy, we will be making an announcement of that litter and uh, you can check back with us uh, being that they are going to be party and multi-gen probably priced a little bit higher than these folks here because it takes a lot of work to get to that generation into those genetics okay um, I've introduced you to Gemma this is our beautiful boy he, we don't have a collar on him again another lovely silky fleecy coat this is the one we call lightning and he's got a nice little that's my um, adults over there and I have Hershey my house dog she's over here being noisy 
we got a lot of trimming and a lot of mowing and things like that going on outside so they're they're getting into the action okay this is a guy we call lightning yeah who's that yeah oh uh, that girl is Trinka, and she's got a really nice fleecy curly coat, as you can see. Well, I know it is tough with this lighting. We do the best that we can. We've got a lot of natural lighting in this room, which is our nursery. Um, but uh, on the other hand, cameras can be very temperamental, and I can't afford a professional, professional, professional movie camera. So um, I, we do the best that we can with the lighting that we do have. Okay, so this is our other one of our other black puppies. She's got a beautiful curly coat. This would be low maintenance, um, and of course, the curlier you go, usually even the more allergy friendly, uh, little to no shed. But again, with this litter, regardless of the um, textures, the varying textures, I don't see any shedding or. Um, allergy issues with mild allergies. Remember, there's no such thing as a hyperallergenic dog. If you're allergic to a standard poodle or any other well-known uh, non-shedding, allergy-friendly breed, you're allergic to all dogs. Okay, here comes mom. There is Sissy. She is our mama, and she is an absolute sweetheart. Okay, this boy right here, our light colored, our light colored, our light blue, I'm sorry. Where'd you go? Is this you? Yes. This is our heat wave. Again, one of our uh, chocolate boys that I do expect will probably lighten up. You can see he's got white toes. Uh, actually, I don't know if all, all four, no, just I know that one is. Three of his toes are white, and he's got a beautiful white abstract as well. Okay, there's Miss Rainey. Oh, they're giving you some action here. He, they're playing. The boy over here on the other side of Mama, if I can get a hold of him. Oh, they're after Mama to nurse again. Um, this guy here is Cloudy. He's one of our bigger puppies. Again, a chocolate that will likely turn Cafe Ale as he gets older. You can see his white paws. Yep, and he's actually got a little white tip on his tail. He's so has a cute old. That's Heat Wave, and he's got a really, really nice thick texture to his coat. Uh, combination fleecy, curly coat. Okay, and let's see. I just want to make sure we don't forget anybody, and I know I've missed somebody. Peekaboo. Uh, I believe Peekaboo may, she is, where is she? Miss Peekaboo, where did you go? Oh, there she is. Look how cute. And she's one of our lighter sables. She's also got dark around her face and legs. And um, she's a little bit of a darker chocolate, may hold a little bit more of her true chocolate color as she gets older. Okay, and you can see her big, beautiful white abstract on her chest. All right, there's a good possibility. She's got a little white tip on her tail. She may stay with us here as well. Um, we will determine that a little bit later. And let's see, who else have we got here? And there it is, our Trinka, the black girl with the purple collar with the really thick, curly, wavy coat. Okay, who's <laughs> pulling tails there. There is Peekaboo. And there is our boy. Oh, you're not Heat Wave. You're, um, yeah, you are Heat Wave, which is the light blue collar. He has now downed his sister. That is Breezy. Okay, so Breezy and Heat Wave are playing together. Breezy is the one with the yellow collar. Our boy with the green collar over there, that's Thunder. I think I did miss him. I just changed their collars and they tend to get annoyed with that, to say the least. Okay, this is Thunder, and Thunder has a nice curly coat. Um, you can see the real th how thick and curly that coat is. He's got some nice definition. I do believe we forgot you, Bubby. Yeah, shame on us. And you can see he's got a nice white on his uh, chest as well. White tip on his, ta on his toes. All right, who have we forgotten here? We got Rainy. And... Okay, there's Radar, our dark blue collared boy. There's Cloudy, our orange collared boy. There's Mommy, getting into the action. Here she is. And she is such a sweet, sweet, sweet girl. Yes. We may be retiring her after this litter. Yeah. Mm, we might be retiring. We like to retire our adults at a young age. Once they've given us, oh, two, three, at the most four litters. I think we've only had one girl that we've actually had four litters with um, ourselves here. Uh, we like to see them retired while they're still young, able to adapt to being a um, wonderful family pet. 
Uh, based on the way, and you can read on our website that we have our kennel dogs because they do not, they are not kept in confined runs or um, confined kennel stalls during the day, but have access to their yards. They do not soil that area, and therein they transition to being wonderful house dogs. Pretty much crate trained, house broken, because they essentially transition to their house being their your house being their kennel. And so they learn, um, they already have an, all, an instinct of not to soil that area. So we've been, had really, really good success um, with the transition of our adults, especially because we like to let them go when they're young. And uh, also because of the way that we keep our dogs, socialize our dogs, um, we've uh, really, really, really been blessed with the people that have been willing to open their hearts and homes to our adult adoptees. And uh, we've had, of course, a couple that we've had to pull for genetic reasons. And uh, that's only as a responsible breeder when we find something that may pose a problem in offspring. Obviously, we do not want to um, pass that on into our offspring, so we will pull that adult. But it may not necessarily be a detrimental situation for that adult um, itself and will still make an absolute wonderful pet. And our adults are spayed or neutered before they leave here. And uh, our adoption fee helps to cover those costs as well as to prevent anyone that wants a free dog uh, and looks to make a profit at selling them to research labs. So please, anybody that thinks that giving away free kittens and free puppies is a good thing, it is not a good thing because people will come out um, masked as families and their purpose is for profit and they will take your puppies and sell them to research labs for profit. So please, please, please use discretion. And if you ever see an ad for free puppies and uh, free kittens, contact that person, warn them what they might, the, the peril they might be putting their puppies and kittens to. There are some newspapers, I know Pittsburgh, Pizet, Pitts, Pitts, excuse me, I'll get it out. Pittsburgh Post Gazette in particular that really discourages advertising pets for free for that very reason. Now, if you know if a newspaper is doing that, it's a well-known practice that is going on out there. But unfortunately, not enough people know what's going on and what's happening to our pets. So once again, this is our F1B Labradoodle Litter. Five girls, five boys. You can check our website at www.lawpdoodle, kennel, K-E-N-N-E-L.com. To see the availability, just go to our Available Puppies page, click on that link, it's up in the upper left hand corner of our home page as well as all of our pages. Once you are there, scroll down and check out Jack and Sissy's link. There you will find all of the puppies pictured individually with their names and prices um, for adoption fee. And um, again, you can also call us if you wish to speak to us a little bit more about these puppies at 304-745-5878. Both parents are here to meet and to greet. You can, we welcome people here to come and see how we raise our puppies. And I just turned the air conditioner on because it's supposed to be hot. So yes, our dogs are very spoiled. As a matter of fact, we have air conditioning in our kennel. Um, so our dogs live a pretty darn good life here, <laughs> to say the least. The nice thing about hot days is because the air con the kennel is air conditioned, it stays pretty quiet outside because those doggies aren't dumb. They stay inside where it's nice and cool and comfortable. Um, also, our nursery here, which is uh, specifically dedicated just to our moms and our birthing moms and our raising puppies, uh, is heated in the winter time. And uh, so, and of course, we have running water, a full bathroom here, which really helps as far as being able to keep things clean and sanitized. And uh, this is also where we meet and greet all of our potential uh, puppy families. And so we have a pretty good setup here, we think, for our puppies and raising our puppies. And we welcome you here to come and check us out. So thank you very much once again for viewing our puppies. And may God bless you. Oh, and since it is July 2nd, happy 4th of July. We hope that everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful weekend with their families and stay safe on the roads. God bless.